Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to import an Excel spreadsheet with data, just so I have something to work with. And then I am going to customize the form with the new Power Apps form editor that was just released in SharePoint Online. So I have this Excel list with a bunch of customers here. So I'm going to import that data into SharePoint. I'm going to do that by adding an app. And the type of app I want is an Excel list. So I'm going to use that, import spreadsheet. And I'm going to select the customer's spreadsheet here. I'm going to call the new list that I create, customers. Yes, I'm going to open that as read-only. That's fine. And I'm going to select a range of cells, and that's going to be all those data up there. Import all that. If you've watched my demos, you've probably seen this part done a few times in a few different ways before. So this is nothing new. But the new thing now is that when I open an item here, you will see that it opens up with a customize button on there. And that opens up this particular form as a Power App, which is rather interesting. So I'm going to show you some of the more common things that you might want to do. And I'm going to show you color coding, which is, of course, an easy thing. And I'm going to also show how to lock some columns so that you can't edit those. That's a rather cool thing to do. So it's building my new app now. And this is a special type of app. It will not show up in the Power Apps mobile app, but it will show up when you're browsing your SharePoint site and going into this list. So it's a special type of SharePoint only app, but it can do a lot of the things that you can regularly do with Power Apps also. I'll skip this instruction here. So there we go. And now my form is coming up here and I have a rather low resolution. So I'll just zoom in a bit. And here you see now it's um, showing me all these fields here. So the first thing that you might want to do is go in and just select the actual form. You can do that up here. See the different, the form is there. So now I select the form. Under there, you have the data. Of course, this data now comes from the SharePoint list, the SharePoint connection there. And here you have the fields that are being selected, and the ones that are being visible. So the easiest way to just remove some of these fields, if you don't want them displayed there, maybe you don't want to see the created and created by, you can just deselect these. There is a bit of a delay here, so you have to be patient. And I am on a really quick connection. There you go. The one That one I certainly don't want also. Compliance asset ID. So there I showed you how to remove fields that you don't want on your form. Next thing I'm going to show you is to make some fields read only. Click that away for now. Just scroll up to this one, the customer ID. Let's say that's locked to another database or something, you don't want that to be editable. And what you do then is scroll down here and you find the display mode, edit, and you see that's locked. So you need to unlock to change the properties. So I go back again to the properties there and find the display mode, click on that again, and then I get into this little editor there. And if I just press the period, then I see the different options. And the ones that I have here is of course disabled. Uh, edit or view. I'm going to select it to just view. So that means that I won't be able to edit that. I'm also going to show you another very useful thing. If you have a lot of columns, they'll all you know stack up like this. If you have the good uh, screen real estate, you have lots of space, you might want to change the form to be several columns instead. And that's something that you haven't been able to do before. So let's go back to that and show you that. Here you see you can have several columns and you can select, you can put it horizontal instead of, of um, vertical and you can snap different columns. So if you have more horizontal screen space then a horizontal form layout might be better. And you can have several columns also. So that I wanted to point that out. And of course the color coding, so let's do that too. That's rather simple to do. You just select the control that you want to color code. And then here's the color. So you can have the background color uh, let's put that to green. There we go. Just click up there. And then it's uh, green. Very nice. And once you're done with these edits, the ones that you want, I've done the removing some columns, I've color coded, I've, I've set 
one of the columns to read only. Then you go back to SharePoint and then save and publish. And there I am, now I open this form again. And as you see, we get this little power apps loading the first time. And here I have the color coding, I have the read only. You see that's not ed editable now, but if I edit all, I can edit the name, I can edit everything else, but this customer ID is not editable. So that shows you a quick thing of how you can get started with the new power apps customize forms functionality. Thank you for watching this demonstration.